All right, everybody, welcome back to Mustangs by Matt. Today, we are on this uh, parking deck roof in Macon, Georgia, where Soul lives. To introduce the video today, we are gonna be showing you how to use the Forescan tool and program to change the splash screen and the theme of your Sync 3 equipped Ford or Lincoln to anything else. We can do Ford Raptor, SVT, uh, ST, GT350, Black Label, Lincoln, just about anything. There's about 10 or 12 different options. It's a lot of fun. Once it's done, the actual process is quite boring. Uh, so I'm sorry for that. But you get this cool intro, so that's good. Uh, all right, let's get to it. All right, so before you get started, you're obviously going to need to have gone to the 4Scan website, 4Scan, all right. This is where you're going to learn just about everything you need to know for the 4Scan to work. All right. So once you're here, you're going to go to products. You're going to need to buy the USB adapter with the ELM chip on Amazon. This is the one that I bought. Uh, it it does work. It's about sixty bucks. Uh, oh well, it's gone down. It's fifty bucks right now. So go ahead and get that on on uh, on order. All right. So we've got the four scan, but we also need to get the license. So if you're just going to change it once and then be happy with it and you're done, then you can get a free two month license. But if you are a shop or you're a, a hobbyist that does the kind of thing for friends or whatever you can get a one three or five year license or a lifelong uh, after you buy it you'll get an email with your purchase order and your uh, license number then you can go to the Forescan app plug that in and it'll give you free access or free reign inside this inside the system and most of these codes are the same for uh, the Mustang, the Fusion, the Edge, the Escape, anything with a SYNC 3 system. Uh, when SYNC 4 comes out, that'll be different, but everything else is going to change too when that thing comes out. Alright, so we've got our 4Scan tool. We're going to plug it into the car first. Right. And we're going to plug directly into the laptop. Now we're going to load up 4Scan. Yes, it says that all the time. So you might actually need to plug this in a couple of times to get it to work. So when you get it, you're going to go here and you can it says enter activation code. That's where you're going to enter your activation code. All right. And then it will be ready to go. And you can see I bought the 1 year license on mine. So this is where you're going to need the the list of different mods. So in in here you can see all the different 
things that you can change within the system, but what we're interested in is the sync system in the uh, as-built database APIM. So we're going to load up the APIM right here, module configuration, okay? Come on. Changing is potentially not safe. Thank you. All right. So this whole code right here is everything to do with your sync system. Uh, and a lot of things that I don't understand, but that is why we have the list. All right. So we're looking for 07D0. Dash zero two dash zero one zero two zero one. Okay, here we are. So there, you're only going to need to change one number in this. So it's important to realize. Remember what your original number is. So the original number here is that we'll be changing is the second number in that list. Okay. So right now it's at one. So when, but we're going to change that. So we want to see, let's see here. Honey, what do you want? What? Do you want the, the black label? I have no idea what that is. It's the Lincoln one. Or do you want the GT350? I really don't know what they look like. Okay, it's the one in the Mustang. Black label? Okay, we're gonna try we're gonna start with black label. So that's we're gonna change that to a three. Alright. Going from one to three. We're gonna write. Alright. Please cycle the ignition off and then back on. And look. It worked. It's just that simple. Okay. We go okay. Operation completed successfully. Ford Performance. So for every change make, you're going to have to reset the computer off and then on again, okay? Oh crap, is this thing still recording? Seven. First one was nine, then seven. And now it's a Mustang. That's the one we're going to stick with. Alright, this is where having more than one list up is going to help. So, let's see here. So we were able to change the startup animation, but now I also want to change the theme. Now, in our previous video, 
uh, which you can see here. We showed you how to change the theme in the, uh, the software that you have access to just by pressing a couple of buttons. Uh, the problem with that is it doesn't stick on a, a number of vehicles. It does on some, but it doesn't on others, and it really isn't anything that I can see as far as a reason why it doesn't stick on some and it does on others. So now we want to we want to scroll down here. See if we can find theme. Okay, here it is. Sync three theme. All right. So I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna go with the Lincoln Timeless or the Lincoln Next. Uh, Ford has kind of put a stop to people using the GT theme. You can do it. Uh, however, it does have negative impacts to other features in the Sync 3 system. Um, things like steering wheel controls or uh, navigation, stuff like that stops working. So and when you bring it in, they're like, hey, you, you changed the code so the computer, you know. Uh, so we're not going to use the GT theme. So for this one, we are going to be looking for 7D0-0301. Bring that back up. 0301. Here it is right here. And we are going to use three. So that's pretty much everything you're going to need to change the Sync 3 splash screen and theme on your Ford or Lincoln. Anything from, I believe, 2011 up until 2021 should work. That's when, after that, I think they're going to go to Sync 4. Make sure that your Sync is updated from 3.3 to 3.4. If you want that kind of new Lincoln Ford style. Uh, but if you don't, if you want the old brown style, then just leave it at 3.3. I don't think you can downgrade it. Uh, but if you want to leave it that way, just turn automatic updates off. The last video we did where I showed you how to change the theme. It changed the theme and the splash screen using a testing mode in sync but it didn't stick for some and it did stick for others and I was really looking for a better way and four scan was brought up by a lot of you guys thank you so much and I've actually had it on my car for a while but as this video proves it's an extremely boring topic but I hope that with this information you can now take what I've shown you and make your car that much more personal. I think it's a lot of fun once it's done, but you know, you got to go through the boring parts to get to the fun part sometimes. But that's it for today. Uh, be sure to visit uh, mustangsbymat.com to get a shirt like this or a hat. We've also got stickers there. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter we are on Facebook too, but eh, not really. And I think that's all that I've got. <laughs> uh, be safe, have fun, and God bless America. Now stick around for some bloopers. License on mine. I don't know what that was, but I'm about to get demonetized.
<laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been cool. That was really something like... What's a cool lean look like? You know what I'm talking about. You know what's really cool? Hmm. Not leaning on my car. I put my knife in my pocket so it wouldn't scratch the paint. Smart. How's that? That's good. Oh, what? Alright everybody, welcome back to Mustangs by Matt. Uh, today, we are going to show you how to, if you have any snow, I'm going to try that, start that over. Okay. 